Previously on Healthy Junk Food, JP and Julia did Five Guys in their apartment. And a lot of y'all requested we do Shake Shack. So here it is. Put this on. Why? <laughs> I have a surprise. You do? <laughs> I'm so scared of you. You're not trying to kill me, right? No. Ow. Whoa! What? Thou shall not pass! Shake Shack, the healthy version of junk food. Not to be confused with healthy junk food. I don't know if I trust buying a shake from a shack, maybe like a nice creamery, but it's not about that. It's about their meat. They're non-hormonal, no antibiotics. I'm on antibiotics. Am I not natural? Believe it or not, their name actually derived from the movie Grease. There's the shack. I've never read the words on that thing before. I was always like, that's a cool thing to dance on. Also dangerous. Shake him up here, shake him down here. Don't shake shack. You can't even see me behind shack shaking. Stop it. Okay, we must start with the most important. Hot dogs! So their dogs are made using 100% Vienna beef. This is what we got. Again, no hormones or antibiotics. Whatever's the most expensive at the grocery store, that'll be good enough. So the process is simple. Split the dog down the middle, pop it on the grill, a little bit of oil, little flip action. Yeah, it's a hot dog. Chicken dog? Is that a thing? In Orlando, they didn't have the chicken dog, but they have it on the menu, and I see it in pictures all over the internet. Are they non-GMO? No antibiotics? Yeah, look, it's the good stuff. Wow, it really is. Now, the most important part, their non-GMO Martin's potato roll. Make sure to keep the bun connected. We're just gonna brush on some melted butter on both sides, and then grill the roll to perfection. And there it is, a hot dog. You know what they recommend? Cheese sauce. Which brings us to our next recipe. This recipe is a little different than some other cheese sauce recipes because they actually have jalapeno and onion steeping with some peppercorns and some salt in there and you just cook that down for five to 10 minutes. You add in heavy cream, white vinegar, and white wine. Grab up a large bowl, add in shredded American cheese and shredded cheddar cheese. Grab up a mesh strainer and pour over top all the ingredients in your pot. If it doesn't melt all the way, double boil it and voila, you have cheese sauce. Seems a little complicated, right? I was not there for that. Yeah, there's a lot going on. So maybe I should say that in a quicker way? N no, I'll just edit out everything. This recipe is a little different than some other jalapeno and pepper five heavy white bowl breaded strainer pot. Boil it, voila. Finally, it's ready. And now slide your cheese onto your non-GMO hot dog. Now your hot dog has GMOs. The Chicago Dog. The Chicago. Plays a tribute to the Chicago Dog. All you need are uh, a ton of these ingredients. There's a lot of toppings on this thing. So let's pretend, let's try to guess. So you take the bun and then you put on the mustard and then there was a cucumber that was specially sliced. Then the hot dog goes down. There were pickles. Oh, pickle, but the tomatoes went on. Tomatoes were on top after the, the pepper and cheese. And there you have it. Celery salt, we forgot that. This was stressful. It was too much. And there you have it. You got the plain hot dog and then the Chicago dog. So you either get nothing or an entire garden. Picky eater, I don't care what I'm eating. What goes good with hot dogs? French fries? Yeah, I was gonna say milkshakes. But... Oh. <laughs> French fries. Yes. Yay. Crinkle cut French fries. The secret is gold potatoes. Golden. Gold, oh, is it golden? No, it's gold. 
So you'll need gold potatoes and a crinkle cut cutter. Say that 10 times. Crinkle cut cutter. Amazon. Not sponsored. I always thought it was gonna be complicated to do, but all you need is this one thing. The crinkle cut cutter is really sharp, so be careful. Cut it down into strips, set them in an ice water bath, dry them off. And then we throw them in the deep fryer to get them partially cooked. You let them sit overnight, and then boom, you toss them back in the fryer and they're ready to become golden crispy deliciousness. More food. Food. Next, they're famous burgers that are green, grass-fed, farm-raised, organic, non-GMO, no hormones, no bacterial infections. They're grown in your house. Eating Shake Shack is a much healthier option than just eating butter. But we can't get into the burgers until you guys figure out how to make the shack sauce. Julia, take it away. It's really quite simple. It's mayo, Dijon, ketchup, pickle brine, garlic powder I added, two pinches of cayenne, and you just mix them together in a large bowl. That was it, I guess I didn't add salt. So to start, we're gonna need one pound of sirloin and one pound of chuck. And then we chopped it into cubes and we fed it through a meat grinder. Next step is they take their meat and they weigh it out in four ounces and they form it into a little puck and then we season them all with salt and pepper and then when you put it on the griddle, you just smash it down until it's about a third inch thick and boom, that's how their burgers are made. So one side gets that beautiful crispy sear that really locks in all that flavor and gives that char. One more minute on that side, ready for cheese. <laughs> Just like the hot dog buns, Martin's potato rolls opened up, brushed butter, grilled to perfection, keeping that one flappy flap still together. Dressed on the top side, shack sauce, little green leaf lettuce, and two Roma tomatoes. And then gently place your burger patty on the receiving end of the bun. Now when we close it up, Julia took some parchment paper, folded it, in a nice origami sequence. And then we showed it on camera and this thing literally looked like Shake Shack. A second variation, the Smoke Shack, sans vegetables, and it has Neenum Ranch Applewood smoked bacon raised on the Neenum Ranch farm. Antibiotic free. It's the perfect type of bacon to get because it coincides with the same philosophy. I will remember you. Will you remember me? So just like before, we got our burger patty, but this time we dressed the top bun with our shack sauce, and then we scoop on a generous portion of these cherry chopped peppers. And then we grill up our beautiful Neenman Ranch applewood smoked bacon, mm. and then place it on a burger. I mean, boom, there's the smoke shack. It looks beautiful. It's almost like the Baconator, but with peppers. And 610 calories later, smoke shack. Wow, that's a lot of calories. Did you know that Shake Shack has one of the best vegetarian options? We have two portobello mushrooms that are de-stemmed, steamed in the microwave, rolled out so the surface area is larger, and then stuffed with a blend of shredded Munster and cheddar cheese, all folded together, sandwiched. Wrapped up in plastic wrap, and then we battered that in flour, egg, and then panko, deep fried that, and oh my god. Oh. Look at that. And then we cut into that portobello mushroom, <laughs> Oh my gosh! All right, you gotta watch this. You ready? Whoa! Oh, wait, watch. Wait, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Oh! <laughs>